It's time for Monday afternoon quarterback and CBS4 Sports anchor Jim Barry joins me for what was a very, very tough mm -hmm. weekend for Miami football fans. And uh, JB, let's start with the Dolphins. Okay. I, I saw a lot of field goals and yeah, a lot of did. missed opportunities yesterday, right? And that was really the story of that football game against the Packers yesterday, Elliot. You know, when you're on the road, sometimes there are only a few plays that you have to hit to give yourself a chance to win. Dolphins did not make those plays yesterday, and that was the old ball game. Look, the opening drive was impressive, but then Brock Osweiler doesn't fall on this bad snap, and the Packers get it, and they end up scoring, and Adam Gase knows it could be all downhill after that. If he hits Devontae Parker, right here. Hey man, that could be a touchdown. Could change the whole complexion of the game, but he missed him. So the problem is the Dolphins, certainly on the road, are, have not been an opportunistic team. And when you're not, and when you can't score and get in the end zone, guess what? You're going to lose. Our offensive line is beat up. Is that an excuse? Well, no, it's not. Look, I thought those guys uh, on balance played pretty well yesterday. The problem is, not only are the offensive linemen hurt, now they've got other guys who were hurt. Now, Jakeem Grant hobbles off the field yesterday, and we were really worried that he might have torn his Achilles. Now, there are reports that maybe he didn't tear it, but he still could miss significant time, but at least he might not be in for a long, long rehab. Bobby McCain got his bell rung on that. Crack back hit right there, and so he's in concussion protocol. And Avante Parker, what can we say about this receiver? Every time you look up it seems the poor guy is hurt he left the game with a shoulder injury I'm told that he had his arm in a sling afterwards so he also might be out again the good news is the Dolphins have a bye week so maybe in a couple of weeks they'll get some of these walking wounded back on the football field Brock Osweiler was not very impressive yesterday mm -hmm. is it time to focus on Ryan Tannehill him possibly getting back in two weeks well he certainly plans to be back in two weeks the question is does his shoulder want to cooperate with him I think he's going to step up his throwing routine this week Tannehill has missed five games already but look now we're at a point in the season where quite honestly the Dolphins need to see if number 17 can play because it's make or break time in this season and it could be make or break time for Tannehill's future with the Dolphins. So I think that a lot is on the line right now. So I'd be real surprised if he doesn't play uh, when they take on the coast of Indianapolis. Yes, 